So in this video, I want to show you a way that you can flatten a slab without using a planer or a jointer. So if you don't have a planer or a jointer or it's not wide enough for a slab, then you can use this method. Many of you have probably seen it, but if you have not, then I think you'll find this very useful. So all you really need is a router with a flat top router bit. They make router bits specifically for this method, but as long as it is flat, then it's perfectly fine to use it. Then you're also going to need some sort of uh, jig. It's a very simple jig that looks something like this with one bottom piece with a gap between for the router bits, then a couple of uh, fences and then some legs. Now you could make these more complicated if you wanted to. You could have legs where you can adjust the height, but I found that having a simple jig like this, it, it works for most of my slabs at least. So step number one is that you need to make sure that the slab sits flat on the tabletop. So I just use some thin pieces of wood, different uh, thicknesses, and just make sure that the tabletop sits flat. Okay, so now it sits nice and flat. And now the next step is to just put the jig on top and then adjust the height of the router bit to make sure that you remove the wood that you want to remove. Sometimes you'll need to take it in two passes if you need to go very deep, if the, you know, the slab is very warped. And I think I'm gonna do that on this slab because it is oak, so it's going to be very hard and I don't want to go too deep and burn this router bit. So I'm going to go two rounds, first pretty shallow and then go a bit deeper on the next one. Okay, so big rookie mistake here. I had this jig way too close to the edge. And of course, it slipped down. The router bit got deeper, made a mark. You were probably just sitting there and waiting for that to happen. So it's not a big deal. It didn't go very deep. I was planning on doing two rounds anyways. So it's not a big deal really, but just showing you everything here, being transparent showing you the mistakes that I make so that hopefully you don't do the same. So just move this jig and the whole slab in a little bit from the edge so that hopefully you don't do the same as me. That was the first pass and now I'm going to go over it once again, just a little bit deeper. I'm not going to film it this time because it's the exact same thing that you just watched. So now we have a nice and fairly flat top. So the next step is to just flip it over, make sure we remove these small pieces of wood so that it just sits flat on 
on the table so that we get the bottom and the top parallel with each other. So that's what I'm gonna do now. This router jig is a bit too tall right now, so I'm not able to reach down to this lab with this router. So I'm just gonna add a couple of boards underneath the slab, just making sure that both of these boards are equally thick. Now we have a nice and flat slab. All that's left is to go over with some 80 grit sandpaper just to remove these marks from the router. And then we can cut this to size, add some legs. This is going to be a small coffee table. And then later we can uh, sand it with some finer grit. So there you have it, a perfectly flat slab using only a router and a simple router jig. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you want to get some awesome ideas for some projects, woodworking projects that you can make and also share some of your own projects, then you should join our awesome new Facebook group. It's called Woodworking Projects and Ideas. I'll leave a link for that down in the description box. Also, if you want to get my free ebook, Beginner Woodworker's Guide, you can get that down below as well. I will be making a video on building this entire coffee table, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.